students, welcome to introduction to nanoscience and nanotechnology lecture number 18. I am Dr. Pervez Ahmed and in today's lectures uh, we will have a discussion on the topic that is called uh, fullerence and we will try to explain the concept, the major concept or the materials about the fullerence. Uh, we will start our discussion from the question that what are the fullerence. Uh, along with that, we will discuss about its discoveries, uh, types, uh, physical and chemical properties. So, let us first uh, proceed towards uh, the basic question that is, uh, what are fullerenes? So, we uh, remember uh, we have uh, carbons, uh, so the element carbon can exist and different structures form uh, which are known as uh, the allotropes. So, the well known allotropes or carbons uh, consist of diamonds which you can see it here and along with that the graphite, uh, these two are the well known uh, allotropes of the carbon. So, along with that we have uh, another allotropes of the carbons uh, that is called uh, fullerenes. So, fullerenes is the third, uh, I mean third known uh, uh, allotropes of the carbon that was uh, discovered accidentally in 1985. So, uh, the well known fullerenes uh, is called Bachmann strip fullerenes. Uh, that is uh, being discovered accidentally in, in 1985. Uh, we remember, uh, I mean that was the first time that it was being discovered accidentally. So, with this discovery, I mean it opened new ways, uh, new areas of research in the field of chemistry or uh, in nanotechnology. So, uh, what are the physical properties of uh, Bachmann strip fullerenes uh, that also we call uh, carbon 60. So, uh, the physical properties of the Bachmann strip fullerenes are carbon 60 R. Uh, it is a black solid uh, at room temperatures uh, which does not conduct electricity. Uh, along with that, uh, the carbon 60 uh, it is uh, insoluble in water but dissolves in petrol to form uh, deep red solutions. I mean, these are the uh, physical properties of the uh, Bachmann strip fullerenes or carbon 60. Uh, Bachmann strip fullerenes are carbon 60 molecules are strong and hard, but along with that, they are also elastic like a football. So, that can be uh, uh, squeezed to 70% uh, of their normal size, but bounces back. I mean, the property, these are the properties or we can say the well known properties of the uh, carbon 60 molecules or uh, Bachmann strip fullerenes. Uh, I mean, at first we say that uh, the, the color, I mean, how they look like. So, uh, it is black solid at room temperatures, uh, which does not conduct electricity. I mean, that is what happened or uh, what actually the carbon 60 molecules do at room temperatures. Then, these materials. They are insoluble in waters, but they dissolve, uh, they can be dissolved in petrol to form a deep solutions. And then uh, these molecules, they are strong and hard, but along with that, they, they are also elastic like a football, uh, so that they can be uh, squashed to 70 percent of their normal size and, uh, but it can also bounce back to its original uh, size. So, the chemical properties of the Bachmann strip fullness includes. Uh, uh, the molecules can be used as a cages uh, to, uh, to trip atoms and smaller uh, smaller molecules inside. Uh, I mean, just like you can see it here in this uh, photo, uh, this image, uh, I mean, uh, that is we can use uh, the Bachmann strip fullness molecules uh, to cage, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we, we can use ad, uh, as a cages to trip atoms and smaller molecules uh, inside them. Similarly, uh, the surfaces of carbon 60 molecules uh, can be coated with other atoms and a good example of that is uh, coating with a hydrogen atom uh, makes a smooth substance that is even more slippery than the uh, Teflon. Uh, the molecules uh, can be joined together to make bigger fullerenes uh, structure. I mean we can, uh, we can bind these molecules or we can join these molecules uh, together to make uh, bigger structures. Uh, bigger fullerence uh, structures. I mean, it's uh, uh, those bigger molecules they will have the nanoscale properties, uh, but uh, along with that, they can uh, enhance or they can gain some uh, more properties uh, along with their uh, basics uh, uh, properties. Uh, we have some more discussion about the fullerence uh, that is uh, 
carbon 60 molecules are also known as uh, buckyballs i mean the fullerens uh, or carbon 60 molecule uh, i mean the next name or another well known for uh, them is uh, the buckyballs i mean uh, we can also call them uh, buckyballs uh, we remember right from their discovery uh, i mean uh, when uh, these uh, fullerens they were first discovered so there were other type of fullerens that have been made uh, that include uh, carbon 70 molecules which are shaped like uh, rugby balls uh, along with that we have uh, bucky babies uh, with less than 60 carbon atoms and we have fuzzy balls uh, with a coating of hydrogen atom and along with that we have giant fullerens with many more than 60 carbon atom i mean uh, what we want to say here, uh, we want to say here that uh, at first, I mean, the, the main point is uh, carbon 60 molecules, the most common name for them is uh, the buckyballs. I mean, we, we normally call them, uh, I, I mean, it's some sort of the nickname for uh, the fullerens or for the carbon 60 molecules, that is, we call them buckyball. So, there are others, uh, I mean, some, uh, like the fullerens. We have other type of the molecules uh, in which we have uh, carbon 70 molecules, uh, I mean, we shape it like rugby balls. We have bucky babies with less than, uh, I mean, these are basically the protocens uh, with less than 60 carbon atoms. So we have a uh, fuzzy ball with a coating of hydrogen atom, giant fullness with many more than 60 carbons atom. So what are the uses of the fullerenes? So uh, some of the uses of the fullerenes that scientists are currently working on include, uh, number first, uh, the fullerenes that can be utilized as uh, non-stack slab free coating for machinery which act like a miniature ball bearing. So we can use it just like you can see it here in this figure. The bucky balls, uh, they can be used like uh, I mean, the scientists that can utilize it as a ball bearing because of its non-sticking slip-free characteristic. I mean, as we told that last, in last lectures, uh, uh, I told you that, I mean, so they have a non-stickery or slip-free characteristic. Uh, so just because of that, uh, the bucky ball that can be used uh, as a small uh, ball bearing to provide uh, a smooth slip-free surface. Uh, along with that, uh, they can be used as cages to hold a drug molecule uh, that can be delivered directly into the body. Uh, more, uh, I mean, we can have molecular sieves uh, which trap large particles like viruses while allowing smaller uh, healthy particles to pass through. Similarly, we can have, I mean, uh, by utilizing the fullerens, uh, we can have chemical sponge uh, to soak up toxic substance in the uh, body. So these are some of the well-known uh, uses of fullerens or carbon 60 or uh, buckyballs. So uh, hope you enjoyed the lectures. Uh, that was some sort of uh, some sort of a short lecture on the buckyballs. Uh, hope you learn about the buckyballs, the basic of the buckyball. Uh, so stay tuned with us for the next lectures that will be lecture number 19 and in that lectures we will proceed further about the carbon allotropes but in uh, the next lecture we will talk about carbon nanotubes as production uses and uh, concerns. So stay tuned with the next lectures till then bye bye.